That is mahogany. So first I started off by pinning up a wig that I already had. It's kind of a strawberry blonde wig and this was the closest wig I have to the hair color in the movie but I just pinned that up into the natural curls. I took the curls that were already there and wrapped them back up again and pinned them in place so they formed almost like victory rolls and then pin curls as well to vary up the texture. And yes, I'm using a stool as a wig holder, wig statue, I don't know what you'd call it, but I don't have anything to hold it up otherwise, so I just use the leg of a stool that I sit on when I film. And then I covered my brows with a glue stick. Unfortunately, this isn't the cleanest eyebrow coverage that I've ever done. I did realize I didn't have any Elmer's glue at about 1 in the morning, and the only store that was open at the time only had Avery brand glue sticks, and I thought that would work out okay, but it did come out kind of chunky, and I wasn't very happy with it, but I did what I had to do. And I'm just smoothing that out with a plastic palette knife. And once you have those covered, you can go ahead and powder them with a translucent powder. And I did cover them. And then I took a white face paint and started painting my face white. You don't want this to be completely clown white, but um, since I am so pale, it did come out almost that white. She is very pale and has very little eyebrow showing. And then I just went ahead with a translucent powder that was almost more my skin tone and powdered over the white to make it a little bit less blaringly white. And then I took Butter Cupcake from the Sugar Pill palette that I have and applied that to my cheekbones, up into my temples, and then across my crease. And this doesn't have to be very precise, and a lot of the reference photos that I use, it's very soft. I kind of put it where I normally highlight, right on top of my cheekbones and up to my temple. And then I lined my eyes with a black eyeliner, with a very, very small wig. And then I took a very light pink blush and applied that to my forehead. And then I took a very big pair of Stardell lashes because I had made lashes, which I will show you a clip here, and then promptly lost them completely forever. So I went with these gigantic lashes instead because they were the next most interesting. And then added mascara to blend them in. And I'm using a NYX Matte Liquid Lip Cream in Stockholm. And then using the same translucent powder over the lips to take away the shine a little more quickly. Then I applied my wig that I had pinned before and started sticking some craft butterflies in there. Some of them have wires in them so they're sticking right into the wig. I bought 3D butterfly stickers at the craft store as well and stuck one right above my eyebrow and then the rest of them on my neck, which made it very hard to move my neck. I had a couple of butterflies left over that didn't have wires in them and stuck those there as well with a little bit of eyelash glue. And this video is a collaboration with a lot of girls that I've met online through the NYX Face Awards. They're all very fantastic girls and I will link all of their videos below if you're interested in seeing any of them. And this is the finished look. And as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching and all of my links for social media are linked down below if you're interested in finding any of those. And thank you so much for watching.